When you think about all the shows you watched on TV when you were little, what comes to mind? Maybe something from PBS Kids like Arthur, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, and Sesame Street. Or were you a Nick Jr. kid and watched shows like Little Bear, Dora the Explorer, and Blue's Clues? Among all of these very popular and iconic kids' shows that shaped the way in which we grew up, there's a whole collection of content that became iconic in their own way, and I'm sure you recognize them from your childhood too. Bear in the Big Blue House, The Wiggles, what about Ooh and Ah? Yes, these nostalgic shows are from Playhouse Disney, a block that ran for 12 years before being replaced by Disney Junior. Though, these shows don't seem to be brought up as often as their competition on other channels, and that's especially true when it comes to lost media, content from their creation that has never been seen by the public or was aired and became lost to time. So let's go back two decades and rediscover the lost media from Playhouse Disney. Little Einstein's Pilot If you watched Playhouse Disney at all growing up, or even Disney Junior once the block changed brand, then you've probably seen Little Einstein's before. It follows the adventures of four kids and their rocket ship, who see the world and learn all about its arts, music, and culture. In fact, even if you haven't watched Playhouse Disney at all, you've probably still seen this show somewhere before. It was huge back in the day, with a five-year run on TV and nine years of reruns after that. Though, for as popular as the series became, there's a chance it wouldn't have been a hit when we look at the earlier designs of the characters, in what's considered the pilot of the series. In 2004, a short 40-second trailer was created and pitched to Disney with the hopes that the concept would get picked up and worked into a full series. This pilot was put onto many Disney-related VHS tapes and DVDs in the early 2000s as an advertisement for the upcoming series. The content itself looks very different from the final show, in both animation quality and character designs. There's even an old website with an early logo design and early character art, though this is where things get a little interesting. The concept art looks different enough from the pilot to be considered a revision, but it doesn't quite match the look of the final show yet, which has led to some speculation that there's actually a second pilot in existence. This is backed up by a reference on the website of a writer, which states he wrote the pilot for an upcoming animated Disney series based on Baby Einstein products. It's a mystery what this could be specifically referring to, and fans have been trying to create a timeline to help in figuring out when every piece of the series was made. Though this wouldn't be the first time a Disney series received more than one pilot either as Jungle Junction had three different pilots created before that series became its own show. Captain Carlos Shorts Do you follow a balanced diet or get enough exercise? If not, then you might need the guidance of Captain Carlos, a kid who teaches viewers how to live a healthy lifestyle. He starred in his own short series, that aired in between the main programming of Playhouse Disney from 2004 to 2007. In each episode, Carlos would be looking for a snack to eat while his sister Maria would try to offer him junk food. The narrator would then make a statement about how junk food can hurt your body, which resulted in Carlos choosing a healthy snack and turning into a superhero. While some have criticized the series for the unconvincing way it portrays junk food to kids, I do remember it airing a lot back in the day, and hearing that it became lost media got me really interested. Apparently, the shorts were discontinued in 2008 and were not replayed on the channel after that. Though rumors state some of the shorts were included in Playhouse Disney DVDs that were released around that time. For many years, however, the majority of them were not available and only a handful of them were uploaded to YouTube. This was until a user archived the entire series on their channel, making every segment available. Well, it used to be that way. 
according to the Lost Media Wiki article, the episodes were deleted from the channel, and the channel doesn't seem to exist anymore, which leaves the majority of the series lost again. Thankfully, there are still a lot of people archiving the series, with new segments having been uploaded very recently. Though, this is still far from every one of them that was made. Curiously, an earlier version of the segment called Spelling Test can be seen in a Vimeo upload from one of the series crew members, which might make you wonder how many other early versions still exist, or how many crew members might have held on to the final episodes. Bear in the Big Blue House Pilot Out of all the Playhouse Disney shows that kids grew up watching back in the day, Bear in the Big Blue House might be one of the most well-remembered and loved. For the fun characters with memorable personalities, to the extensive layout of the Big Blue House, the show is such a comfy adventure that really makes you feel like Bear invited you over to his house. However, if you thought you had seen all that the Big Blue House has to offer, then you'd be wrong, because there exists content from the series that very few people have seen. In 1997, a pitch pilot of Bear in the Big Blue House was produced to test the show before it entered production. This pilot has never been officially released, and currently cannot be viewed in full. The only time any of its content was available dates back to 2006, when director David Gumpel uploaded a reel which included a small clip. This contained an earlier version of the song Need a Little Help Today, as well as the original designs for characters Pip and Pop, and the original set design for The Kitchen. Since its upload, however, the clip has become unavailable, and only a handful of screenshots still exist. Noel McNeil, the voice of Bear, has stated the plot of the pilot was the same as the episode Water, Water Everywhere, but with these differences. No other information about its production is known, and it's unconfirmed who of the crew might have the full version. Though, it's possible David Gumpel might have had access to it at one point if he was able to include clips in his reel. This is one of those older shows that isn't airing with new episodes, so the pilot might end up resurfacing online someday. But this isn't the only lost media from Bear in the Big Blue House, and the latter of these two might be more difficult to find. Breakfast with Bear If you watched Playhouse Disney early in the morning during the mid-2000s, then there's a chance you might have seen a mini-series called Breakfast with Bear. This series was a spin-off of Bear in the Big Blue House, created during the hiatus of the main series. What was cool about Breakfast with Bear was how it brought the character of Bear out of his fictional house and into the real world. Every episode featured Bear visiting a different kid from a different state, and spotlighting how they got ready for the day, namely through eating breakfast. A total of 20 episodes were produced, with 10 being filmed in California, and the other 10 being filmed in New York. Currently, less than half of the episodes are available, with the majority of the remaining ones completely lost. The Lost Media Wiki has a great list of which ones have been recovered and which ones haven't, along with summaries for the first five episodes. What's even more interesting, however, is the fact that some of the lost episodes have screenshot galleries available for viewing, which suggests they could have been online at one point. Breakfast with Bear did have a website and print material discussing filming of the show, as well as many promos advertising the series, which can still be found online. Its general obscurity has made tracking down the remaining episodes difficult, since I personally remember the series only being played early in the morning, and it just didn't have a lot of content made for it to begin with, so it's doubtful we'll ever see a DVD release or anything like that. As with most short series that had a short airtime, VHS tape recordings are the best way to find lost episodes, so if you remember watching this series as a kid, you might want to check your recordings, and see if any were saved. The Wiggles Show Alternate Edits 
The Wiggles are a children's band with no need for introduction, as they've become incredibly popular and iconic over their many decades of creating entertainment for kids. However, with that popularity and numerous releases of content over the years, you know not everything can be preserved, which creates lost media. There's a lot of lost media from the Wiggles, ranging from TV pilots to concert specials. And honestly, so much of this stuff seems like it deserves its own video. So picking a single topic to discuss here is a little challenging. However, in keeping with Playhouse Disney, and something that I personally found really interesting, are the alternate versions of episodes that were created from the main series. In 2008, when Disney debuted the Imagination Movers, the Wiggles essentially got kicked off the channel, and their show was given to Sprout, a PBS-owned kids channel. But rather than airing the full 22-minute Disney episodes, each one was cut down to about 12 minutes, and changed some of its content, which extended the overall episode count of the series to 52, instead of 26. These alternate versions are very hard to find, with the majority of them still being lost and several other edited seasons having even less information available. Even though the original, unedited episodes are currently available for purchase, it's the fact that these remixes cannot be viewed which makes fans want to find them. When it comes to lost media, it doesn't really matter how redundant a search might seem. As long as there are people who want to preserve the history of a series, then the topic becomes worth finding. I'm sure someone out there grew up with the Sprout versions of The Wiggles Show, and now, part of their childhood is lost. Handy Manny Pilot If you were a Nick Jr. kid growing up, then you probably remember Bob the Builder, a stop-motion series with lively construction vehicles, each having their own personality. But if you grew up with Disney Channel, your handyman was that of Handy Manny, a show animated with CGI that followed the title character Manny in his box of lively tools, each with their own personality. The show ran for nearly a decade, beginning in 2006, outlasting Playhouse Disney itself and ending in 2013 on Disney Junior. The show was produced by Nelvana and most notably had cell shaded graphics. However, an earlier iteration of the show exists in the form of a pilot, and similar to Bear in the Big Blue House, very little of its contents are available to the public. Before the show's premiere in 2006, a pilot was created in 2005 by DKP Productions and looked much simpler in style. The graphics were done in standard 3D and did not use cell shading, with the background designs being much more simplistic as well. This lesser quality isn't anything too surprising though, as pilots are usually more basic than the work done on the final show. I think it's really cool to see this more primitive iteration, but unfortunately, there's not too much we can actually see from it. That's one of the most interesting pieces about the pilot, is how scarce information is. The only content from the pilot that's available are two short clips from a demo reel on DKP Productions' website, and that's it. Manny isn't even seen in these clips, so it goes without saying that the majority of this 11-minute pilot is lost. There's another claim from the Handy Manny wiki that states part of the pilot was shown at the MIPCOM Entertainment Exhibition, but I couldn't find any source for that. Similar to the Bear in the Big Blue House pilot, this one seems like it could end up resurfacing online someday. Higley Town Heroes Mini Show and Tell Time We've talked a lot about earlier iterations of Playhouse Disney shows already, with the ones that existed in the form of pitch pilots. However, in those cases, the content from them was never meant to be aired on TV, and it probably wasn't intended to be known about by the general public at all. That's not exactly the case for another pretty popular show that aired on the block, called Higley Town Heroes, and ran from 2004 to 2008, spanning 66 episodes. The main plot of the series involves the characters running into problems at some point in the episode, which is resolved by the end when a Higley Town hero saves the day. These heroes are firefighters, electricians, and similar occupations, with the idea being to highlight how important everyday jobs can be. 
One of the most notable design features is how every character is made to resemble nesting doll figures, even being able to open themselves up. From characters to plot, these ideas were present in the final show and didn't change direction very much from the original short that was created for the series. In 2003, before premiering as a main show, Playhouse Disney ran a program called Mini Show and Tell Time, which aired shorts of new shows and Higglytown Heroes was one of them. This short ran regularly on the channel and was even advertised in commercials which promoted the Mini Show and Tell Time program. Some of these commercials have been archived and can be viewed, complete with clips of the Higglytown Heroes short in them. However, if you want to see this in full, you're out of luck, as it's currently lost and cannot be viewed. There have been a few claims which state the short had once been uploaded to YouTube back in 2018, but has since been taken down. Another claim states that the short itself was available for viewing on the old Playhouse Disney website. It seems like this short was the only one in the mini show and tell time series, so we're essentially looking for a single segment, which might turn up as a re-upload if it actually was online at one point. Ooh and Ah Bumpers There's a lot that goes into the personality of a television block, including the shows, the branding, and of course, the host. Think about Toonami and how iconic Tom and the space theme has become. Or what about Face on Nick Jr. and how he moved from one show to the next with his funny dialogue. But Playhouse Disney didn't have a space theme or a colorful face narrator. Instead, they had two monkeys in the jungle named Ooh and Ah. Ooh and Ah are a pair of red and blue monkey puppets which first debuted in a short series called Ooh, Ah, and You. This series aired in 5 minute segments each morning to begin the Playhouse Disney block, when a couple years later they were chosen as the mascots to host the block in its entirety. This lasted from 2007 to 2011, before Disney Junior was introduced and replaced them along with the Playhouse Disney brand altogether. However, in the span of those years when Ooh and Ah were on the air, they starred in a bevy of skits, shorts, and bumpers, of which many are still lost. There are some lists available that detail what each of these segments were about and which ones are still missing. While I'm not sure how accurate it is, the large variety of bumpers that were produced and aired over the years makes tracking down specific ones pretty difficult. Not to mention, a lot of these were used to advertise specific shows, which makes the search a little less organized when YouTube compilations mostly use assorted clips. There's even a secondary series of bumpers called Monkey Mail, which has Ooh and Ah receiving a letter from other Playhouse Disney characters as sort of an announcement that their show is going to air next. While a good bunch of these have been found, there still exists a large collection currently lost. Keep in mind, some of the bumper names even have dubs in different languages next to them, which opens up a new problem in trying to archive international versions. Unfortunately, this is the way in which searching for bumpers is conducted, and again, looking through home recordings is the best chance there is for more to resurface. Stanley Pilot Chances are if I asked you about the show Stanley, most people wouldn't really remember it or know what I was talking about. However, if I said, do you remember the Playhouse Disney show called Stanley, where he could talk to different animals and solve problems, I'm sure it would ring some bells. This cartoon premiered on the channel back in 2001, and seems to be a show that the majority of people end up forgetting about. Which brings us to the topic of this video, the lost Stanley pilot. Before the show premiered on Playhouse Disney, it too received a pilot that was made to pitch the series prior to entering production. However, unlike most of the other pilots discussed, this one has a little more context that's become available in a pretty interesting way. While a handful of screenshots do exist and can easily be viewed, a little digging reveals two promotional videos from Playhouse Disney. One is specifically advertising the channel and the other is advertising a mall tour, and in both of these clips, several seconds from the pilot can be seen. These are both dated 2001, 
which means they must have been produced before the show actually debuted in 2001, with Stanley's final design. The pilot uses an earlier design for Stanley, with thicker hair and outline, with the title card having a completely different color scheme as well. It's been claimed that this pilot is called Kangaroo Cleanup, and was reused for the Season 1 episode of the same name, but this is unconfirmed. There have also been some unconfirmed claims about who the voice actors were and that it never aired due to Stanley being too scary for kids. There aren't any sources for these statements, and as far as I can tell, not much is known about it. Though again, this seems like a really easy piece of lost media to find. I don't think a lot of these topics are still lost because they're difficult to track down, it's just that no one has really gone out of their way to look for Playhouse Disney content before. When I was researching information about the block, there was a lot of content I was surprised to see either still lost or that it existed at all. It wasn't until recently that I even knew the Stanley pilot existed, so more awareness for these shows can bring more interest in unearthing its content. Some of these topics will probably have to be found by looking through old VHS tapes, but that's the fun of looking for content that's lost. And in a way, I think it's really cool that the shows we grew up on as kids find new life now that we're older and wanting to go back and rediscover what we liked about them. Lost media isn't just about finding something that's lost, but it's a whole experience that takes you back to a different time and lets you discover something you might not have known existed. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out some of my other game-related Lost Media videos. Thanks for watching, and until next time, Finn.